My name is Jess and I'm an associate scientist in a quality control laboratory. Uh, so a typical day, usually come into the office, the first thing would be to check my email to see if there's anything um, urgent going on during the day. And then I usually spend about half the day in the lab and half the day at my desk doing paperwork. Um, when I'm in the lab, my duties will vary from anything from doing uh, testing on the drug product and drug substance samples that we get to equipment maintenance, reagent preparation, um, reviewing, um, peer review, some of that happens in the lab. And then the other half of the day when I'm at my desk, most of it's peer review. Um, we also spend a lot of time writing technical reports, uh, reviewing them as well. And there's a lot of little side projects that you do. We have to keep track of our training, keep up to date on all of our training. Uh, we also, I'm actually the training coordinator for our group, so I keep track of all the other people in the group's training as well. So the requirements for working as a QC analyst at a biotech company, uh, you need to have a degree, a bachelor's degree in some side of one of the hard sciences. So usually that's chemistry, biology, physics, or some form thereof. Uh, a couple of the colleagues I work with have neuroscience degrees, so it can be varied a little bit, but you want to have that degree in the hard sciences. You don't need any special certification or anything like that, just the, the science degree. The best part of my job, I would say, is knowing that the tests that we run in my lab have a direct impact on the patients in the clinics that are getting the drugs that we work on. And I think that the worst part would probably be for me, I'm not a fan of paperwork, so sitting at the desk and doing the paperwork part is not always my favorite part of the job. I'm right? more of a hands-on person, I like to be in the lab. Some advice I would have would be don't be afraid to get your feet wet doing the grunt work. Um, a lot of people start out doing kind of the grunt work in a lab, you're making reagents, um, doing the equipment maintenance, that kind of stuff is not as glamorous maybe as some of the other work, but you have to walk before you can run, so just be okay with that kind of thing.